Survival Here. In today's video, we will be enjoying an action war film, entitled, All Quiet on the Western Front. There will be spoilers ahead, chill out and enjoy. The film starts with a German trooper named Heinrich being requested to take part in battle by his officer. Subsequent to hearing the mind-boggling stream of discharges, Heinrich looks like he has been predominated by the occasion. Heinrich gets together his entire being to battle for his life. One of the German troopers is killed directly before him similarly as he is prepared to ascend the stepping stool. Heinrich consents to allow it to follow being convinced by his leader to do as such, and afterward he joins the remainder of then troopers in their battle against the foes. A couple of seconds after the fact, he runs out of slugs and is compelled to battle the foes with a digging tool since he has nothing else to utilize. After the soldiers have been killed, it is seen that the people who are accountable for the clearing gather their regalia, including Heinrichs. From that point forward, they are sanitized and afterward dispersed to the new enrolls. Paul Balmer, Franz Muller, Ludwig Bem, and Albert Kropp, every one of whom are 17 years of age. Listen mindfully as their dean gives an extremely decided discourse about how significant their obligations will be in serving the country later on. They are informed that the destiny of their country relies on how they vote in the following decisions. They feel a mind-boggling deep satisfaction because of the energetic discourse, and they can hardly hold on to put their recently discovered certainty to use on the front line. Paul was shocked when he got the outfits and found that the name Heinrich was imprinted on his shirt rather than his own. At the point when he goes back to the official, the official lets him know that the uniform unquestionable necessity had a place with somebody who was either fundamentally bigger or essentially more modest than the typical client of the uniform. The official didn't give off an impression of being excessively worried about it. Paul knows nothing about the way that the uniform previously had a place with another fighter who was killed while serving in the conflict. As a general rule, each and every one of the garbs that they are wearing right now was previously worn by troopers who were killed in an earlier conflict. From that point forward, Paul and his companions get requests to answer to the 78th Hold Division. A suggestion to constantly keep the weapons clean is given to them as they are coming. They will be dispensed to an area that is now very disgusting. The last thing that they need is an old rifle that has been gathering dust. They were stopped by a staff specialist who energetically requested that they hand over their vehicle so it very well may be used by 40 warriors who were currently biting the dust. This happened when they were going in their vehicle. From that point onward, the lieutenant provides the order for everybody to stand up and leave the vehicle. From that point onward, it is required for each and every warrior to begin strolling toward their objective. As the troopers walk on, an enormous blast causes disarray. Everybody is then arranged to wear their gas cover. Ludwig battles to put on his veil. After seeing this, Paul helps him out his companion. For reasons unknown, the blast is simply aspect of the arrangement. The lieutenant is troubled that Paul didn't put his veil on prior to assisting others. The official is sure that Paul will bite the dust from the beginning of the field. The soldiers at last come to their objective. The dirty channels and the consistent shelling close to La Malmaison invite the youthful officers. Nothing might have set them up for this. Katsinsky, a senior trooper, cautions Paul that it will deteriorate around evening time. While monitoring their station the main evening, Albert detects that there's somebody close by. They then, at that point, snatch their weapons. Minutes after the fact, Paul is shot in the head. Fortunately, his protective cap saved him. They get once again to their positions just to get besieged. They are then arranged to run for well-being and conceal in the shelter. Ludwig is overpowered by the blasts and separates. He advises Paul that he needs to return home. As the shelling proceeds, their shelter begins to implode. The lieutenant requests that they get out. Yet before everybody can, the dugout breakdowns. Paul is subsequently saved. While stunned, he is safe. He is then entrusted to gather the canine labels of the troopers who didn't make it. While playing out the task, Paul steps on Ludwig's glasses. He then figures out that Ludwig has been killed. Paul is crushed. After 18 months, Paul and his new companion, Kat, end up taking food from a close-by ranch. Kat can take a goose however not without getting found out. He figures out how to take off with Paul notwithstanding being taken shots at. 
They then cook the goose and offer it with their friends, Albert, Franz, and Jaden. Detecting that the conflict might be over soon, they consider what they will do once everything has returned to ordinary. The following day, the gathering gets guidelines to look for a missing organization of 60 newcomers as their task. They consequently discover that everybody has been killed by the gas since they eliminated their covers excessively fast prior to going into the room. Major Brixdorf reports to General Friedrichs that the French are expanding the tension. They are sending their whole division to Latier. The general knows that the German pastor of money is sending a designation headed by Matthias Erzberger to sort out terms for a potential ceasefire with France. Be that as it may, the general communicates his craving to battle. It's clear that he favors a more forceful style and requests the tactical keep on battling. He isn't willing to surrender yet. The designation is given 72 hours to survey and consent to the terms specified by the French general. This gives sufficient time for the German troopers to do their absolute best. Paul's group is requested to progress to the front. They then, at that point, continue to the front line and use the channels for well-being. The fight transforms into severe hand-to-hand -hand battle. As the group advances and catches the camp, they exploit the second and pig out with the food that is abandoned. Minutes after the fact, the French counter-assault group shows up with tanks. Their rifles and assault rifles have not to match the modern weaponry of the French. This permits the French to propel their position yet not for a really long time. The Germans' warriors can detect the weaknesses of the tanks and take advantage of them. Right when the Germans are going to even the odds, French warriors utilizing flamethrowers come into the image. The Germans endeavor to withdraw, yet the French power is a lot for them as of now. Albert asks to save his life as he stoops down, prepared to give up. Regardless of his supplication, Albert is killed. Paul, who scarcely endure an impact prior, is shocked to see his companion get executed. The German officers are requested to take what they can and keep on withdrawing. Paul is troubled about seeing a companion winding up dead and failing to focus on Franz. As an elevated assault likewise follows, Paul winds up in a puddle. An injured French officer falls close to him. Paul promptly wounds the man, however the French public doesn't pass on immediately. Paul can sympathize with his aggravation as he gradually passes out. Paul even engages. Resuscitating him. However the French fighter in the end bites the dust. While Matthias Erzberger is cleaning his shoes, he hears some certain news. After much obstruction from the French. Field Marshal Paul von Hindenburg at long last consented to their terms and reported that the truce would come full circle on November 11 at 11 a.m. The exhausted warriors were thrilled to hear the insight about the approaching truce. Meanwhile, General Friedrichs isn't excessively excited about the new development. He provides the request for the newcomers to answer to him, however he doesn't let any other person know his arrangement going to be. Paul searches for his companions in the midst of the turmoil. He at last tracks down Jaden at a field emergency clinic, having been shot in the leg. His leg requires removal, by the vibe of it. Jaden is restless about being disabled. Getting a new line of work will be considerably more testing, on the off chance that's certainly feasible. Paul gives him all the support that he wants. Cat and Paul are brought together. Paul enlightens Cat regarding Jaden's condition. They consent to bring their injured companion some food. While they are partaking in the food, Jaden wounds himself in the neck utilizing the fork given to him. Being injured was simply a lot for him to deal with. The next day, while sharing what they will do once they arrive at home, Paul and Kat continue to the ranch one final chance to take a few eggs. Paul is gotten by one of the rancher's youngsters and is locked out. The kid goes to his dad, who is presently holding a weapon and prepared to shoot. Paul figures out how to free himself and is being pursued by the rancher. He cautions Cat to run as the rancher fires at them. They figure out how to get away. As the two are moving away, the rancher's child gazes at them with a burning intensity. Cat doesn't know that the rancher's child is seeking after him. The kid is conveying a shotgun as he gets up to speed to Cat. He then pulls the trigger. Paul is paralyzed as he hears the gunfire. He goes to mine Cat as he tumbles to the ground. He's been hit in the midsection, and it's terrible. Paul needs to take Cat to the medical clinic. 
Two trucks brimming with troopers pass by them. The possibility that the conflict is at long last over is so euphoric for the German troopers that they thoroughly disregard Paul and Kat. Paul is effective in coming to the clinic, however Kat has previously died. It just so happens, the slug hits him in the liver, which then, at that point, makes the toxic substance spread all through the remainder of his body. Since Paul is in a discussion with Kat, he can't embrace the reality of the matter. He advances over to Kat, just to observe that his companion is as of now dead. From that point onward, he ventures into his pocket and takes out Kat's canine tag. Every one of the excess warriors are requested to report straightforwardly to General Friedrichs, who is seething at the detente that has been as of late marked. The effectivity of the arrangement is at 11 a.m. He has different plans as a primary concern. The troopers guess that the discourse will be about the conflict being finished. The now very depleted warriors are upset when the general requests them to use the leftover 15 minutes to battle against the French powers. A few warriors won't follow the request, as they simply need to return home and accompany their families. They are promptly captured. The film closes with Paul, presently brave and broken, returning to the field and killing however many French warriors as he can. While he is battling one French warrior, he handles him as the foe snags a weapon. The two fall underground. As Paul is prepared to take part close by to hand battle, he misses one more French fighter spot on behind him. Paul is then bayonet through the heart only a couple of moments before the finish of the conflict. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this and help the channel grow.